So today is our first of a couple sessions, um, super short sessions in Denver that we're gonna have just to kind of keep the body feeling good um, and primed and ready to go for Vail this weekend. I, I don't wanna take like a bunch of days off in a row. I'll probably feel kind of stiff for comp day. So we're just having as short of a, as sessions as I possibly can in order to kind of just keep the body feeling good and ready. So the uh, previous day was a rest day, which we flew from Virginia Beach over to uh, Denver, which is about a couple hour drive from Vail where the comp is happening. And um, today, today's session I was expecting to be very hard and same thing with tomorrow um, because we're at like, I think we're about uh, at 7,000 feet elevation. And that's kind of why we were doing our endurance training as well at the beginning of the program to kind of build some cardio and, and so this, that this altitude won't be as much of a shock to the system. Um, but yeah, like I was, I'm like drinking plenty of water, I'm eating a lot, I got some good sleep, so I'm doing everything I can to kind of fight this altitude. But I was definitely feeling a bit today. I, I think I, what I find happens to me, because I've been here to Denver and Vail a couple times to compete, is that I don't necessarily feel weak or like my climbing doesn't feel bad. I just feel super shaky and it feels kind of hard to relax and control my body movements. Um, that's what I find happens to me a lot. <clears throat> but anyway, we're here at um, Movement Climbing, uh, which is a really cool gym. It's really big. And I've been here once about four years ago um, before a Vail World Cup. Kind of did the same thing where uh, I'm here for a couple days to acclimate to the elevation and have a couple sessions. And then like just the day before the comp, you drive for a couple hours up to Vail, uh, where you'll stay for the event. And so uh, this gym is, is pretty cool. They got a lot of nice boulders. Um, here you can see I'm starting with a few physical boulders just to get the body going. Um, I'm pretty sore after the comp. I got a lot of like little nagging uh, tweaks and, <clears throat> and um, some pink skin. Uh, that one fingertip is still pretty bad. I have to tape it. Um, but it could have been worse, honestly. I could have left the event with bloody tips. So I'll, I'll, I'll accept like just one split tip as my uh, punishment. But yeah, so I'm starting off with some physical boulders. I feel I feel pretty strong, I, but I, yeah, I definitely feel shaky. Maybe you can notice it a bit. Um, and so the way the, the grading works here is purple is the hardest. Purple holds. It's the color of the holds. So I started off with the blue, which was the second hardest, and I did a couple purples, uh, which felt pretty solid. They're probably like around V9 or something. And then they have their comp wall, um, and they had a lot of cool looking boulders up. Uh, I had to be a bit careful though, because my skin was still pink, and I knew that, especially like with these sort of jumping moves, like this paddle is only gonna get a few tries before I just had to move on, whether I was close or not, because it uh, was I felt it eating away at my skin a little bit. Um, but yeah, this paddle was cool. You're like, uh, you paddle up this pretty bad hold. It was worse than I expected. I kind of like wasn't able to hold it my first few tries. And <clears throat> so I, I was kind of learning the movement and I think I was jumping two feet off this big blue thing. And then as soon as I kind of just keep my left foot on the side, it, it controls my direction a bit better and it um, allows me to carry my momentum through a bit. And then you go to this like jib on the volume and then you catch the other vo the volume with the other hand. And then we got this little underclean crimp and there's a foot up to the left, but I'm not really sure what it was for. I kind of just hand foot match, heel hook and do the last move. But yeah, that was a, that was a really cool boulder. I think I probably made my skin 2% worse uh, after doing that boulder, but uh, it was a bit too cool to resist. And so with the comp boulders, it's not the same as the other boulders where it's by whole color is the difficulty. I, on this day, I was actually kind of confused. I, I thought it was by whole color. So you see, I'm doing this purple and blue one because I thought that like purple and blue are the two hardest grades. So I thought like this was one of the hard ones. But then I realized later that it's actually by the, like you can see the little start tags, the color of the start tags indicated the difficulty. So the first one was a pink tag, which was the hardest. And then that second one I did was a yellow tag, which makes a bit more sense because it was a bit easier than I was expecting. But anyway, uh, when I was kind of walking around before my session scoping at the boulders, um, I saw that they had some really cool looking slabs up and that was kind of what I was really excited about the session to try. Um, so this is a pink, pink tag slab here. <clears throat> uh, super cool, this, this blue hold is uh, a really cool hold that 
I've seen kind of see on like the World Cup circuit, but I've never, I don't think I've actually got a chance to climb on it yet. And they used it in a really cool way on this boulder. At first, it kind of looks like this move where you jump over to the volume and you press off this sloper and it's like super shallow and, and it just is gonna take a long time to make that stick and work. And, but then you see that last try, I kind of jumped into it from the start and I said, I don't know, this, it seems like it should be hard, but like, it seems like it should be really hard, but th that felt a bit too hard. Like I didn't even feel like I could hold that position. And so it got me thinking and I was looking for something else. And then I found what looks like the indented sequence and it's like even cooler. You kind of use the sloper as almost like a paddle push. So you do this jump and you push off the sloper to get you a little bit further to go all the way over and kind of do a hand foot catch on this volume, which was really cool. Um, and then this try that I stick it, I actually kind of do a mixture of pressing off the blue and holding it in the end. Uh, this middle part is really cool. Um, super technical, you feel super sketch standing on this volume. It's like barely poking off the wall, but this crimp that you're holding onto is pretty good. And then <clears throat> you have this black volume, just a stack of these two cheetahs. It's a pretty good volume. So uh, even though the foot's bad, you can kind of squeeze on this volume. You're not going anywhere. And uh, and then, yeah, you kind of, it's kind of cool. You match the finish while you're stepping on it. That's not something you see all the time. Uh, so that was fun. But yeah, I uh, it was just a 30 minute session. So I think I paced myself pretty well. And I knew that with these two 30 minute sessions, it was, I was really gonna have to be in control and not let myself uh, go overtime too much. I Maybe I was expecting like five to 10 minutes of overtime, um, but like I really had to rein myself in because we're just trying to like get the body ready to compete this weekend. We're not trying to send cool bowlers. Like if there's any day where I need to control myself, it's these two days. And so I did a good job of that today. I climbed for like exactly 30 minutes. And so I finished off with this other cool slab, this cool last move here. Um, super smooth mantle thing. But yeah, that can, that was the first session at movement. Um, it was super cool gym and good boulders.